Hey there, in this tutorial you will learn how you can check your Django version. There are a few ways to check your Django version and in this video I will show you a few of them. I will also show you how you can upgrade and downgrade your Django version, how to install and uninstall Django and how you can check your Python version. Checking your Django version can be useful if you want to make sure your Python and your Django version are compatible. It is also useful if you would like to check if a specific Django feature is supported by the version that you are using. Alright, so without further ado, let's get started. How can you check your Django version? The way you check your Django version will depend on if you install directly your Django module in the base Python installation or if you install it in a virtual environment. Let's start with the simplest case. Let's say that you have installed Python and installed Django using the pip tool. You could check your Django version using the idle terminal. You will need to open idle and then in the terminal type import Django and Django.get version. And when you press intro, there you go, we get the version. My version is 3.0.8. Another way is you could write Django dot version and you will also see the version. However, the format is slightly different. You could also check your Django version using the pip command tool. So you will open your terminal, and in my case I'm using Mac. If you are using Windows, you could open the PowerShell terminal, and then type pip3 freeze. And this will return a list of all the modules installed in your machine and their corresponding version. So now, if I look for the Django, I can see that it's installed, and the version is 3.0.8. Now, let's see how I can check my Django version if I have installed Django in a virtual environment. So I will open the terminal and then I will move to the directory where I have my virtual environment. Next, I will need to activate the virtual environment using the source command. So I will type source vm bin active. And this will activate the virtual environment. And now if I want to display the Django version, I will write a small code snippet. So I will say python dash c and within the double quotes I will write import Django print and the version. And if I press intro, I can see the Django version. Now, if I would like to leave or deactivate the virtual environment, all I need to do is type deactivate. And as you can see, I'm back in the terminal now. You can also check your Django version using the admin scripts that Django provides when you install the module. These admin scripts are really helpful because they help you to manage the Django applications, also help you to manage the database patches. Um, there is also functionality to see your Django version. All you need to do is type the command Django hyphen admin.py and version and then press intro and you will get your Django version. Another command that you can run and it does exactly the same is python manage.py hyphen hyphen and version and this will also return the Django version. As you can see, Python offers you a few ways in which you can access the Django version. 
So next, I'm going to show you how you can upgrade the module. This is something that you will need to do if, for instance, you find out that you are using an old Django version. You can upgrade the Django version using the pip tool. You will need to open your terminal and then type pip install hyphen hyphen upgrade and Django, which is the model that we want to upgrade. Just so you know, you can use this command to upgrade any other module. You just need to change the module name. Okay, so if I press intro now, then the pip tool will start updating the module. And then when this finishes, you can check the version and you should see the latest Django version. So we have seen how to upgrade, so how can you downgrade? You can do that using the pip tool as well. So from the terminal, you will type pip install hyphen v for version and then Django equal and the version to which you will like to downgrade. In this case, I will use version 3.0.5. In case you are not sure about the available versions, you can go to the Django site and there is a list with all the versions. I will leave the link in the description. So one small thing to watch out also is that same as when you are checking the version, your Django version, if you are upgrading or downgrading, make sure that in case you install Django in a virtual environment, make sure you activate the virtual environment first before trying to downgrade or upgrade. And now, just for a quick reminder, I will show you how you can install the Django module and also uninstall it and how you can check your Python version. You can install the Django module using the pip tool. So I will open the terminal, then type pip install Django and then pip will start fetching the modules and any other dependencies. So if you would like to uninstall, what you need to type is pip uninstall and Django, and that will uninstall the module. And just so you know, you can use this command to install or uninstall any other module. All you need to do is to replace the module name with the module that you would like to use. And finally, let's see how to check your Python version. This is really, really simple. All you need to do is go to your terminal and then type python hyphen hyphen and version. And there you go. If Python is installed, then you should see the version. If you get any errors, this means that you don't have Python installed or it could also mean that Python is not part of your path. All right, so that's the end of the tutorial. We've seen a few ways to check your Django version, how you can upgrade, how you can downgrade the Django version, all of this using the pip tool. We have also seen how you can install the module, how you can uninstall it as well. And last, we cover how you can check your pipe. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know in the comments in case you have any questions. Um, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe and I